So, big wheel, and we sold it. But it needs a little work to get ready to go to its new home. And as you can see, I'm already working on it here. Got it taken apart a little bit. Got some stuff going on here. We'll talk about all the upgrades I've made since we built it and entered it into the Maker's Collab. But let's get started. So one of the things we never got right with this wheel when we entered into the contest was the sound. We just couldn't figure out how they did it on the prices right. Uh, after a little research, we found out they used an electro-optical system, kind of like the, when you go through the door in like a convenience store, it makes a beeping noise. And what they do on the original wheel is they have a reflective stripe around where this ring is, where you see these dots. And the beam hits the reflector, and when there's no reflector there, it makes the noise. So I tried to use one of those systems, and it just didn't have the reaction that I was looking for from an off-the-shelf product. So I sent that one back. Uh, the next thing was to do was to try a reed switch. And what I did with a reed switch, and I'll show you over here, is I tried to put it down here on the bottom. You see my clamps down there. And then every time one of these little pegs went by, it would set off the reed switch. And a reed switch is just a little teeny magnetic stripe, or actually I should say metallic stripe. And then as the magnet goes, it squeezes those two pieces together and connects the circuit. The problem I had is that magnet just wasn't big enough. So what I did is I got a bigger reed switch and I've got it installed right here. Uh, let's bring it around so you can see it right there. And then I got bigger magnets. So that's what these are. These are neodymium uh, near earth or rare earth magnets. And that's what I've got there. And I've put those in a circle and I've adjusted all of them. So as they pass by the magnet and then the switch, they make the beeping noise. And I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate that for you right now, just so you can kind of hear the noise and see how that kind of works. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of how the buzzer works now. So one of the other issues we had was this would brock back and forth. And what I have done is built these two braces out of aluminum strap. And they really make this pretty rigid now. So there's that. All right, so here's the solution to my tension. These are tension blocks. And what they do is they push down on each half of the wheel onto the center shaft, which doesn't rotate, stays static. And hopefully that's going to put enough friction on that shaft to slow this wheel down. I went to the show and I looked at it. And even the guy we could find that just yanked the hell out of that wheel, it stopped in about 20 seconds. So right now we're running about a minute and a half before the wheel stops. So let's try these. So there's the friction blocks in place. And as you can see, there's a slight bow to them. And they just squeeze against that center axle and add a little tension. We've got the wheel to slow down and stop within a minute. So I'm pretty happy with that. Several days later. Okay, so it's moving day. The wheel is going. And what's it going in? That U-Haul truck. So this is a 15 footer. And as you know, the wheel is eight foot in diameter. So fortunately it comes apart. So I got to figure out a way to get all five pieces in there. Let's get started.
Okay, we got everything in the truck. Let's throw some luggage in there and hit the road. Okay, day two of the move to bring the wheel to Pennsylvania. We are halfway through Montana. Look at that view. Is that amazing or what? I have never seen anything like that. Welcome to North Dakota. Hey, future me here. Um, guess what? So I'm editing the video right now. And either during the process of us unloading the truck at Iron Mill Farms or some technical glitch, we don't have any footage of actually unloading the wheel, which would be a montage anyways. So let's just skip right ahead to us putting that wheel back together. The next day... Okay, well guess what? That's a wrap. The wheel's in its new home. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit that bell for notifications. I got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right here. Thanks for watching. Daddy yourself.